This now is my final video of this $50 lot with more interesting material. And again, for those of you that had not watched my previous two videos of this lot, I will show the basic contents of this lot once more. Imperial China, Taiwan, People's Republic of China, uh, estimate about two to three thousand stamps. And also uh, a few hundred Japanese occupation stamps of China on peace mostly. So let's get started in this third uh, video of this particular uh, lot I purchased. Tianjin. In this case, we're talking about a bilingual cancels, uh, the city of Tianjin. And we do have two different styles of these cancels of probably quite a few others that do exist. So same town, however, a different cancels. And that does make a difference to anyone that is into cancellations. And again, we have bilingual cancels, Pasien and Nanho on the right, Nanho and Pasien. Not sure if I do the pronunciation correctly, but uh, anyways, uh, it's all right here and here. Uh, again, a bilingual, Chinese and English. And a few more. Uh, some of these um, already shown and uh, I'm presently showing um, are cities that um, I don't run into uh, very often, if at all. Uh, this could, some of these are the first time of some of these uh, postmarks that I have encountered. And I've went through many, many Chinese stamps over the years. And again, we have still bilingual cancels, English and Chinese, uh, interesting uh, cities, um, really interesting to collect. And a few more. So cancels are truly very interesting. And here we have uh, all Chinese language uh, postmarks. And uh, the one on the left uh, reads, to the best of my ability, uh, postage paid on this Japanese occupation stamp. And the one on the right is a small part of what appears to be a commemorative cancel. It is also of color, a violet or, or bluish type, you know, probably more like a violet uh, inking was used. And yes, again, these are all uh, in Chinese language, no English. Nicely struck postmarks and uh, very interesting, again, to collect. And again, nice examples of occupation stamps with beautiful postmarks.
These particular cancels were not many in this particular lot. Uh, these two examples, perhaps one more example, not as good as these. Uh, and they appear to be, as best as I could figure out, uh, a field post type cancellation. I can only guess that these probably may have a slight premium. Perhaps. And here is a cancel that appears to be a roller type cancellation. And a few more um, different types of cancels, bilingual, uh, all Chinese, different configurations, uh, well struck, readable, and again, very interesting. I just enjoy cancellations of any country, uh, especially on the older issues. And still a few more. Interesting cities, some more common such as Shanghai, uh, Tsingtao, uh, but the others are not quite as familiar to me. And again, some more. Shanghai, Tianjin, another Shanghai, but again, different configuration, different time frame. So cancels do change over time. So even though they come from the same city, uh, there can be many variations, and they're all a different cancel and uh, extremely collectible. And then this beautiful strip of five um, with the pack a boat cancellation and a piece of the margin. So, again, all interesting material out of this lot. Well, I do hope you can give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed my video. And again, hopefully you might subscribe to my past and present and future videos. Thank you so very much for watching. And once again, yes, this lot truly was the best deal of uh, all Chinese stamps that I had the opportunity and pleasure to purchase for such a good price, $50. So I really got my money's worth and a whole lot more. And above all, many, many hours and days of research and enjoyment. Really, truly a fantastic lot. And I hope and wish that all of you will have also the best of luck in finding such a lot or the country that you prefer to collect uh, a similar uh, lot. I'm sure they're out there. But, you know, it took me many, many, many years to be able to make this purchase. So it may not happen <laughs> quickly, but if you look hard enough, I think you will find. I certainly wish you my absolute best in that. My channel, stamps, my fun things.